So when it comes to Tmux, what you can do is you can use Tmux on a remote machine, okay? So let's say you have a your, your local machine here. Okay, so this is your local machine, this is your local computer. What you can do is in your terminal on your local machine, you can SSH into a remote machine. Okay, so this is going to be your remote machine. And within your remote machine, if you run an instance of Tmux, you can then do like a long running process, okay? And that long running process, let me just create an arrow right here really quick. You SSH into your remote machine. And on your remote machine, if you're running Tmux, you can do a long running process. And that, that long running process could be anything, but let's just say, let's just say your process is like a database migration, right? And that takes a while. If you run Tmux, and start running that database migration inside that instance of Tmux, when you exit the SSH session, Tmux will still be running and that database migration will still be running. And then when you SSH back into that machine later, so let's say uh, home PC, okay? So let's say this is a work PC and you're a system administrator or whatever. If you're at a home PC now and you have your terminal up, on your home PC, okay, you can then SSH back into this machine and this Tmux will still be running the database migration. You can reattach onto that, that previous Tmux session and you can still interact with whatever's going on with that machine, right? That process hasn't stopped and you can just hop right back into where it left off. That's the easiest like situation for me that I can think of when it comes to using Tmux in like a remote machine. So Tmux is very much like screen from that point of view. Yes, a dev panda. Yes, that is correct.